In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the horizontal geometry tools that's located in the Civil Tools menu under Horizontal Geometry. And the tool that we want to take a look at is this simple arc command. So before we get started, I have drawn here two terrain features. I have a feature definition associated with these, which is terrain break line. And what I want to do is essentially fillet these two break line features. So I want to construct an arc from this feature to this feature at a given radius. In order to do that, I will select this tool, Simple Arc. And you can see when that dialog comes up that you have trim and extend options, the option to input a radius, as well as a toggle here for loop. However, if you right click on this dialog and select customize, you can see that there are many other options that can be enabled for this tool. Uh, you can input a back or a head offset as well as a back or a head taper and transition. So just keep in mind that if you have a specialized need that these additional options are available. So let's cancel out of that. We're just going to do the simplest of examples now, which is just filleting between these two features. So you can see when I move into the view, I get a heads up prompt that asks me to locate the first element. So I'm going to go out and just pick this first element. And now I'm prompted to locate the second element. Now you can see that I have a 50 foot radius here that I have toggled on. So I could either key in a different radius here and you can see the little lock next to that. Or I can go up and check this off. And now you can see that I can dynamically select my radius. So I can either data point to select my radius. I could snap to an existing element out here to select that radius, or I can simply key in a radius. So let's just key in 400 for our radius, and I'll hit the Enter key. That locks that 400 radius, so I want a data point to accept that. And now I'm given the Trim Extend option, so I want to trim and extend both. And now you can see that I've uh, created a simple arc between these two elements and it does have the same feature definition and I could actually go in now if I wanted to and complex these together by locating the first element and the second and the third and then I'll data click to accept that and now you can see that I have complexed these into one element type. 